So we are now um, approaching the end of our little example. So we were able to, to watch the agent walk interactively, which could of course be some a bit tedious because we had some stays over 30 minutes. Um, and in the end, of course, what we need for analysis are the raw data. And after the simulation is finished, for example, we can still plot the different variables as trails into the model environment. So for example, here we have the skin temperature as an example. So you see the range for skin temperature is ranging from 34.4 uh, to uh, 36.2, starting here at the metro, um, walking over to Columbus Circle, um, entering the park area, which is pretty hot. You see how the skin temperature increases and then stays more or less constant um, during the complete um, walk. And here we have our little stop for 30 minutes at the uh, kids' playground. And you see, of course, the massive impact the short indoor stay at the restroom had on our skin temperature, how we start or restart our walk with a much lower skin temperature. And of course, the skin is again heating up. Or talking about the temperature sensors in our skin, we can have also look, have a look at the change of the temperature sensors. So they tell us what do we feel as our sensations. That means that a positive change of T-skin will be monitored by our thermal brain as a heating condition, as a warm condition, whereas um, the um, values below zero indicate a cooling condition. And you see, of course, after entering, uh, leaving the metro station and um, walking into the park, uh, there is a, uh, the impression of hot. So we have some local conditions when we walk in, into the shade where we do uh, actually generate um, some colder experience and the massive impression here when leaving the indoor environment of the bathroom or the restroom so where the skin dramatically increases the skin temperature and reports a very high heat stress during this change of environments and finally here more in the shaded areas of the skin temperature remains more or less um, constant let's finally have a look at the um, static pad so this was the pattern of the static pad, which was pretty much um, constant all over the area. And compared to the um, dynamic version of the pad, we see that there is a distance, uh, a very much difference between what we feel, how we sense the environment, how this sensing of the environment is slowly increasing during our walk. Um, until we get to the playground where it gets its maximum and then is more or less equal to the um, static PET, but then quickly reduced after this small, so a short stay at the restroom. And then we have a much lower um, thermal impression as we leave the cold environment. So finally, um, this could also be exported, of course, to Python. Um, this looks maybe a bit messy, but it's just a blueprint uh, as a script, so you can um, change the script at any time and add variables, remove variables, or add other information. So um, in the end, um, this of course could give you some more some design ideas or some ideas of your design intervention that may be going beyond the state of what we had with the static thermal indices because static thermal indices always set um, create shade, create a shading device. This will create the shade exactly more or less where the shading device is. But sometimes it's not possible to create shading devices. But Looking at this trail, you see if we have some options to lower the skin temperature at some location, this also has a large impact on the sequence of, of the sequence of locations that have been visited afterwards. So it's a complete different view onto the thermal experience and on the non-static thermal experience compared to just using a static PET map. So I hope this gave you a little idea of what it is about. And you see there is a multitude of things you can do. Compare different scenarios, compare different shading intervals, which interval will be required to keep the skin temperature below a certain level, the sweat rate below a certain level, or also where do we need to have changes in the design to, uh, to 
avoid peaks and changes of skin temperature, for example, which are also considered to be very unpleasant, either uh, dropping down or going up. So this is also uh, something that would can not be analyzed using some static um, indicators. So, so far for this day, thank you for watching.